Warning, listening to Mac to Illy can make you think. Question reality and take responsibility for your own life. Listener discretion is advised. How's it going, Internet? This is Mac to Illy. I'm just at work today, taking a little break. And uh, I don't really have a specific thing I want to talk about today, so I'm just going to riff and uh, we'll see what comes up. Now, I know a lot of people have been waking up lately. There's a lot of things to wake up to, and there's a lot of different avenues to facilitate that waking up process. And man, I'm jealous of people that are waking up today because the puzzle is so much more put together that this this wake up process is, is, is not a, a big leap. You don't have to push all your chips into the middle of the table and go all in with this whenever you wake up. It's, it's basically common knowledge. You know, people have always known that the royal family are inbred. You know, it's a joke. We all know it. And so, if that's common knowledge, with everybody out in the open, imagine what is done behind closed doors that you don't know about. And the people I've followed that have led me to come up with the concept of the lawyer world order laid the groundwork for me decades ago, decades and decades ago. I followed so many different people and, you know, every conspiracy theorist that I've ever known and you've ever known was more right than they were wrong. And that's a fact at this point in time. Which means that every expert and, and pundit has been more wrong than right about their assumptions and their observations of what's going on. So are these people in on it? <laughs> This is a big, big net that we're going to have to cast out. And, you know, um, the lawyer world order and exposing it has, you can go back and check the dates, check the content. I'm over a hundred videos into this concept at this point. The lawyer world order was, was exposed in 2019. The concept came about in 2019 Merriam-Webster's word of the year was they. I mean, the whole concept of the lawyer world order was putting a name to the face of who they are, right? I took everybody's assumptions of who was running the world and I put them all together and I gave you this concept. And ever since this concept was articulated into the ether, the quickening has began and, and everybody is picking up on it now. I've given you countless confirmations through this channel, and that's just the stuff that I catch in real time, you know. Imagine if I went out and looked for these confirmations. I would be busy. I mean, I have a job. I have a business that I own. I have a family. I homeschool my kids. we got a lot going on. We've been making moves for this exact scenario for some time, and right now uh, it's pretty gravy for us. And so, you know, it's, it's convenient that the Q movement popped up now. Now that the lawyer world order has been exposed, sure, it's been going on since Kennedy, right? I've never really talked about the Q movement, but, uh, you know, on one hand, I think it's, it's good, you know, that you can think that justice is being served to these people and good elements within the government are taking out the bad elements. That way we can still utilize the infrastructure and we don't have to lose the internet or air conditioning or anything like this right you can just keep on going we can just keep on working on into the future on the other hand it's it's bad because it makes people sit on their hands it makes people assume that somebody else has got it don't you worry about it there's there's smarter people more connected people with a grand plan and hey i'm not part of it but somebody's going to take care of it I, i don't like that I think the power lies with the individual, and that's what this time period is, should be showing you. I hope you're seeing that. I'm living proof of that, and the fact is is that um, a mask mandate for Ohio was put into effect July 8th. We're almost a month after that, and every day I come into work, I pass the signs that say, stop, put on a mask. I go clock in, and I do my thing. No one even mentions it to me. I haven't worn a mask yet, or gloves, or anything. I was essential. I've been working through this whole thing. In a week, it'll be five months, whether or not people know that. And I haven't even felt sick, not once. It's fake. It's bullshit. If anybody was going to get it, it would be me. I touch elevator buttons. I touch handrails all day in the building I work. There's an international clientele. There's people from all over the world coming through here constantly. And uh, I haven't even felt sick. And I take zero precautions. 
So how do I go from being an essential worker, not wearing a mask before the shutdown to somebody that because I'm not wearing a mask after the shutdown, I'm the cause of the fucking virus and it's all my fault and I need to do my part. You people need to get fucking real, man. The power of the individual, the all-seeing eye, the individual. I'm taking these symbols back. That's the power. You don't get representatives to represent your point of view unless you want to be misquoted. You need to do that shit yourself. And you do it with the uh, (laughs) smartphone in your pocket. That's how you represent yourself in a sea of 8 billion people. You know, we don't rip this shit down. We build it up. Ultimately, we're in control. You just remember that. And speaking of taking back the symbols and the words as well, I've made some amendments to my lawyer world order concept. And that is, for one, I added doctors in with the lawyers as a little part B because, you know, anybody who operates a practice and is practicing on the public is questionable in my eyes. And so it was easy to say the lawyers and after COVID, it's exposed the doctors into that equation. And in spirit of taking away words and concepts and and the concept that has came through the lawyer world order is the concept known as all pride. And I'm taking pride from the gays. They've had their fun long enough. And we're going to change pride to an acronym, which is known as pedophiles revealed, identified, declassified, exterminated. So that is all pride. That means all pedophiles revealed, identified, declassified, exterminated. And that's what you're seeing happen. The lawyer world order was manifested a a year ago. And look where we're at today. You can't deny what is going on. And the mobs are primed. They're ready to go. They're destroying abortion hub leftist cities. So we're just going to let them keep, keep rolling with that. You guys just keep getting ready, keep feeding it, keep feeding it, because we're going to point you in the right direction soon enough. And I don't care what kind of islands or bunkers these people have, they're not going to be able to escape the wrath of 8 billion united people with the truth on their side. And so that's the end of my break. I guess that's a, a enough rambling for the day. I have a lot of great concepts coming out. I got some new paintings in the works. My farm is is crushing right now. It's interesting to see Owen Benjamin interviewing Curtis Stone. I follow both of these people independently, so to see them come together and talk about law and the law movement and basically my concepts, the lawyer world order, to see these seeds that we planted decades ago growing in people's minds today at this time is perfect. And so that's it for today, Internet. Stay tuned. September is going to be a hell of a month. Until next time. This has been Back to Illy.